Um, so I kind of realised that we're doing a lot less filming the last few days and I think this is because things feel a bit more normal. Kind of like um, this, yeah, kind of settling into a new normality. You know, you don't think about it quite so much. You just get up and, and do what your day is. I think since mum started tutoring the children and that's created a routine, um, that's helped. Um, I've been in a better mood this week, so it's all been, yeah, it's just all been fine. It's all kind of ticking along. And I think, you know, I'm going out swimming twice a day if I can. And that, again, gives like a daily routine. I think, you know, the anxiety is dropping because the levels are dropping. And there doesn't seem to be so much mention. Well, it depends who you talk to. Some people are still very fearful of a second peak and, you know, and some people are still not really going out. But I, I was saying to somebody yesterday, I think it's a, it's just playing the balance between being sensible and having a life that's worth living and I think I've said it before it's like terrorism you know this is this is the same terrorism of your mind it, you know the fear of going out is probably worse than the risk if you're you know, risk to society if you're careful. Um, I'm still not going to shops. I'm still not going into public places. Um, you know, I am going out and doing... I'm meeting lots of people, but I am doing a two-metre distance at least. Majority of the time. So, you know, I think, well, your, your risk has got to be low. And actually there's not as much of it around at the moment anyway but you know I suppose that's the reason not to get complacent I can't remember if I said about when I went to Tesco's to fill up and I was the only one wearing gloves and no, nobody else was wearing gloves and that kind of reassures me in some ways that you know lots of people are just getting on with life and the, level, the numbers are still going down so yeah no, I feel, in, I feel in a good place and I think, you know, I'm just not documenting as much because it's all starting to feel a little bit more normal. Obviously, dynamics have changed in the house a little bit as Izzy's come back. Um... It rained last night for the first time in ages. So I'm even loving the roses in the garden. Oh, sun's coming out. So a rainbow. I'm not sure where a rainbow would be. Actually, I might keep that up here. A rainbow flying high. A rainbow flying high. Oh, the sky. Look, it's tidy. Tidy. Clean. Even the children helped out a little bit. Hello. Are you waiting for Daddy? Who's in here? Who's in here? Shall we peek? Who is it? How surprising it's Benji up playing Switch. Yay. I'm glad we've got a games console in the house now. Brilliant. So far I'm second in the ground Going to have to limit time play. Oh, look at this nice tidy kitchen. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, she likes sniffing when it's been raining. Yeah. And it's nice and sunny now. The sun's come out. I need a little jacket on my mug, Will. If it's warm and it rains, it doesn't really matter if you get wet, does it? No. Uh, Even other dogs. Yeah, Like one of those lollies. He's dead! Ah! He's dead! He's dead! Oh no! I'm dead! Take this party colour off, or you'll pass your ages in though. Please confirmed ongoing access to priority supermarket delivery slots for as long as they are needed. Support from NHS volunteer responders will continue, and so too will the support from NHS mental health services for those struggling with their mental health. And for anybody facing financial hardship, we've made money available to councils to help those struggling to buy food and other essentials. And my message to 